An army marches on its stomach, or so the old saying goes. My clansmen have been farming and tending sheep for hundreds of years, but gathering enough food to feed an army is a different matter entirely. Without a strong economy, the meager forces that we've cobbled together will collapse again. To support the Scottish army, you'll need to build up your stockpile of resources. To win, gather 50 food, 50 wood, and 50 gold. Second scenario, feeding the army. Yeah. To gather food from the forage bush, click a village. Kid. Then right click the forage bush near the blue flag. In the status area at the bottom of the screen, you can see how much food the villager is carrying. The Did villager he say? continues to gather from the forage bush until he's carrying ten food. Carrying? What are you talking about, man? You can't speak Scottish for love the money. How you the will carry you working for you, carrying the food to the town center. The amount of food you have is shown in the upper left corner of the Why screen. Why are you a In addition to your food stockpile, you can see your current wood, gold, and stone stockpiles. The more villagers you have, the faster you can gather resources. Assign your new villagers to gather food. Kind of a really boring mission, actually. Just Use the villagers to gather resources. When I was first learning this, it was fun. It's pretty easy to figure out how resources work. Later on, when we get to like the Battle of Fall Kirk, that's that's harder. There's some gold, but you can already see the gold, so it gives you a excellent. You found some gold. It's there. You don't even need that much. Just 50, 50, and 50. And as you can see, all my villagers are just. Catching stuff? Great! You now have 50 See? food to win. Also gather 50 Go for the wood next, lads. Gather wood. Lassies? Pick a villager. Then right click a tree. Good! You found some gold! I always used to just use forge bushes and then go straight to farms. I would never have thought of getting that sort of thing. Um like deers and boars watching resonance resonance 22 on youtube watching some of his um, videos like this has given me um better ideas for economic expansion in this game and being able to get more of an economy which means you can play better so i should be able to do better at the campaigns than i've ever done before thanks to resonance 22 thanks a lot resonance 22 Thanks a lot indeed for teaching this noob who's been playing for 10 years how to actually get proper food sources and whatnot. Yes. And I'll try not to get housed. You're well on your way to making a city. Look at that. I'm done. Excellent. You now have enough gold. Why didn't they say that first though? It's a question I have. Edward Longshanks, for all his disrepute, has shown military tactics in Wales, England, and France to be very effective. If not cruel and ruthless, he's indeed an enemy to be feared. The English sacked the town of Berwick upon Tweed. Would that I could call it a battle, but it was truly more of a massacre. Unless we organize our army, there will be more massacres to follow. I pray we can be ready for Long Shanks coming. In villages throughout the Highlands, there is grim talk of skirmishes between Scotland and England. We lost the city of Dunbar this week. Scottish defenders broke ranks and fled. The English have an army that is larger and better trained. To compete with them, we are going to need new recruits to pick up the spear, sword, or bow. We must remake these shepherds into soldiers.
We will need many soldiers to defend our homeland. We'll start by creating villagers. Click your town center, then click the Create Villager button in the lower left corner of the screen. It takes time for a villager to appear. If your town center is selected, you can good job. Oh no, the I got house. Appear next to your town center. Now, create another village. You need additional housing to support your population. To build a house, click a villager. Click the buildings button, click the house button, then click where you want to build the house. Scenario three, training the troops, and I'm building houses. If more than one villager builds a building, it will go up faster. That would be the Age of Empires 2 version of Many Hands Make Light Work. Each house supports five units. The population indicator at the top of the screen shows your current supportable population. Uh, good old population indicator. Worse than being housed. Being at your population limit. Other buildings are made just like houses. Try building a barracks. The barracks is a military. I'd like to meet the people who voice these Scottish people. Pseudo-Scots. <laughs> They'd be from Microsoft, wouldn't they? I'm well, sorry if you're some old guy who works in Microsoft now and still works there and has been responsible for keeping me able to play this and I'm dissing your fake Scottish accent. <laughs> I'm sorry if you are. different buildings or units gives you different options in the lower left corner of the screen notice i like to have more houses i don't need them but having them there makes my little village look nicer that's one militia unit. create three more and you'll have enough soldiers to protect this area and win the scenario yeah. click the barracks and quickly click the create militia button three more times to make three soldiers roll This scenario is piss easy. It's even easier than the last one. You don't even have to use the militia, you just have to make them. Ridiculous. But as a kid, I find this one to be hard. When I first did this, first on the demo, this would have been 1990... Ooh. Yeah, so it was 1997. Wow been so long. I feel so old. Now that you have a few soldiers, you'll be able to defend this area against English attacks. Now that we have militias stationed across the border, the English have slowed their raids. But face it, Longshank's army will be another matter. Wicked English king has yet to bring his famous longbows to bear. Our militias could only get us so far. We are going to need more advanced weapons. 